Hey guys, welcome to JVO TV. We here at Micro Center in Michigan, and we're building our first computer. At least for me, this is the beginner video. Um, a video gaming editing monster. I wanted to start a little YouTube channel, so I decided to go to Micro Center. Um, you guys will follow along step by step with me. Let's get it started. All right, guys, welcome to the step-by-step -step guide on building our 4K video editing ultra gaming system today. These are the parts I use. I'm a beginner myself. You guys enjoy it. Let me know what you think. Make sure to place your motherboard on top of the box. Open the CPU and install to the motherboard. Lift the lever and use the tiny arrow in the CPU chip to match the motherboard. Snap the lever down and make sure the CPU is firmly in place. Time to install the CPU fan and RAM sticks. Place the CPU fan over the CPU and connect the metal tabs on the side. After that, place the CPU fan cord into the CPU fan slot designated. Install RAM into memory slots two and four on your motherboard. If unsure, refer back to your manual. time to install our SSD as our main drive into the motherboard. Remove the shield to get to the SSD slot. Make sure to put the SSD into the SSD slot firmly.
time to open up our case and get started putting our motherboard inside. You do not have to necessarily use this case. You can use any case of your choice, but this is a good case for beginners. Remove the four corner screws from the glass case and remember to put your screws up in a safe place for keeping. All right, guys, if you like what you've seen so far, go ahead and press that like button and subscribe to JBO TV. As always, be safe. Position the power supply either up or down depending on the airflow of your case or wherever you have it positioned in your studio. Position the four case screws and tighten the power supply to the PC case. Next, we are installing the motherboard to the PC. We have nine screws, do not over tighten. Make sure your PCI cords for your GPU are pulled through at this time. This is the major power cord for our motherboard. Make sure to connect the main power to the motherboard and up in the top left corner connect the other motherboard power cord. At this point in the video, we're going to pull through all our LED connections and our USB connections from the front of the case. Then we're going to connect our audio loops in the lower left corner of the case. All right guys, now it's time to open up our graphics card. Let's get to it. Make sure to unscrew the top two side brackets on our PC case. Align our GPU with the motherboard slot one. Make sure not to press too firm. Place the two brackets we removed after the GPU installation. Connect the PCI cords to the graphics card. Okay guys, at this point you should have extra PCI cords. I used some different ones, but you can still use the ones you had. I swapped those out. Let's continue. Whoa, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. Let's rewind that. Yeah, I only got one RAM stick in there, if you guys notice. I couldn't get it to start, I had these G-Rips. I could only use one, I found out I had a bad one, so I had to switch over to Cosears Vengeance Pro. I hope that's not an issue, which is why in the end video, the RAM sticks are different. 
but it's not a problem. Let's continue. All right, guys, uh, we just got done with our video in the conclusion. I want to say that building this thing was a dream of mine. It's something I've been wanting to do for a while. Um, I wanted to become a creator, um, a, a video editor, um, somebody who put his own content out there. So I decided with this machine to do this first from start, start from scratch. And uh, so I did some uh, research and I watched a lot, a ton of YouTube videos to uh, learn what I needed to learn to build this machine and uh, give you guys the best possible guide I could. This is from a beginner's perspective. I'm not an expert or anything like that, but I wanted somebody who uh, who truly was a beginner to, to do something like this for other people who are beginners and uh, see, see, see how it's done up in first person view. Um, now I shot the first half of this video with a S9 Plus actually, a cell phone. You know, that's all I had at the time, so that's what I shot it with. Now, the second half of this video was shot with uh, a Canon M50. You know, that's all over YouTube. I know a lot of people know what that is. Uh, it can be really nifty if you want to be a creator or do something on YouTube. It can really be helpful because I see how the pictures are much more clear um, uh, doing a video and having a headphone mic and, you know, the shotgun mic and all that stuff. That stuff really helps out. I would say that building a computer is not as easy as it looks. From all the guys, the expert guys on uh, uh, those 4K channels building those uh, those computers, I will say that it is a task in itself, and then you have to learn how to video edit. So uh, if you're taking on a task like that, trying to do it at home, uh, this is a guide for you. It's a step-by-step. -step. So uh, if anybody uh, want to know where I got the parts from or anything like that, I got it from Micro Center. Now, I know Micro Center is not in every state, so... Uh, I got some links to Amazon down below. Maybe check that out. And uh, I hope you guys like the video. Um, it's JVO TV. We're going to be bringing more content to you guys. Check down on um, the links below. I'll leave it down there. My Instagram is JVO TV. I'll post all the pictures that were not in the video. I have a ton of, a ton of pictures for you guys that want to see uh, in more detail a couple of things that I did. So just let me know about that. Like and subscribe uh, to JBO TV. I got more content coming for you guys. Um, I appreciate you watching the video. And uh, as always, be safe.